Hi everyone, Kent Larsen here from Smart House Electric. Just a quick video on how a high pressure facial tanner circuit typically looks like if you need to troubleshoot it. A high pressure uh, system needs 230 volts, uh, most typically for some 400, very few, mostly Italian tanning beds, bigger high pressures. But when it comes to high pressure facial tanners, you can pretty much be certain that they're 230 volts. But let's say that in a ballast, let's take a 400 watt here. And that will just have um, two connecting points. And here, it doesn't matter which one you go in out in on and which one you go out of it doesn't matter let's just take here and we'll take l1 our first phase out of our uh, three phases because we're gonna have 230 we're gonna need 230 for this that means that we have to use two phases of 120 if you're in Europe of course if you have you're in a country where it's 230 volts this will be a phase and the other side will be neutral for all that. I'll make the heads up when we get to that uh, where the neutral was supposed to be in instead of it. It's just going to be instead of the other phase, really. We're going to need something to start the lamp. And this is much more powerful than uh, low pressure tanning, the low pressure lamps. So it's going to need something different. That's why it has something called an igniter. And the igniter is able to to give a spark uh, with much more power than a uh, traditional starter. Very simply explained. So uh, you have this thing, and it looks like a little can. Basically, like if you know capacitors of, of larger size, they pretty much look like that. The thing is that they have they have three legs on them. And then we have, let's put a high pressure lamp here. A lamp. And, and that thing, we're gonna make that wire lead. So it has a wire there on each side. Again, no polarity, you can go in either way. So, um, on the igniter, the ones that I work with, there's other um, terminologies, particularly on the Italian beds, but this is pretty uh, common, or particularly German beds, UWE, Herbaline, um, KBL, that sort of thing. You have a D, that's for the incoming voltage from the ballast. And then the middle leg, you have to the lamp. That's the igniter leg. And then you need it L2. Or if you're in Europe, you will need the neutral here. And you just connect that up right here. And you can connect the same neutral leg right here. Again, if you're in Europe, if you're in America, it will be your L2. Or this can be the other way, that L2 goes in here and then L1 is on here. That will do the same thing. Just the fact that there is, these are two, of, uh, two different uh, power legs. That's what's important. If this was L1 and this was L1, you would have no voltage difference between the two and therefore no power running. The middle leg here typically is L and this way this one is N. So you can see an N uh, is, is, your, is your neutral. So I mean the whole industry originated from uh, Europe. So that's why the terminology is uh, like that. So let's just quickly run through it. It's L1 in here, the power goes in through the ballast 
and boom, up into the igniter, out on the middle leg, to the lamp, and then the neutral, or the opposing leg, L2, is just connected between uh, both the lamp and that side of the igniter. So this was with a fixed balance of 400 watts. That means that we cannot regulate it. It's just the way it is at all times. So let's make a circuit that can um, regulate into two. Or let's just step it up one, maybe. Now, we'll do a 400 watt again, same one, but with the ability to kick it down by 100 watts. So, let's get this stuff out. All right. So, still the same thing here. L1 into Let's take this time a 100 watt ballast, a 100 watt ballast, and another one here. So these are 100 each here. And all we do, we'll do, is just to run L1 in on each one and let's put our igniter over here L-N and then just we'll just connect all of that Now, this actually provides us with 300 watts being in parallel. That's how it works. You put ballast parallel to one another. You can just add the wattages together. So that's pretty neat and easy. Let's see our lamp over here. All right, so we wanted to still maintain our 400 watts, but what would be really cool is that if we could, once the lamp is started, we want to be able to lower the output on that, um, on that high pressure facial. So what we'll do here is that we'll simply add in another ballast of 100 watts. Now see, we could connect there again and we'll have 400. Boom, 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 all parallel to one another. So let's do something really simple. And what we'll do is that we'll just put in a switch here. So now, once you engage that switch, you will have an all parallel circuit and 400 watts. More commonly, what you will do is that you will put a contactor here, let's say, call that K2, and, and uh, have that engage that. And so if you have three facials, that's perfect. And if you have a contactor with three uh, normally open uh, contacts, you know, like that, something like that and then you can just have facial one two three just just like that so when you engage or disengage that contactor you will turn up and down the uh, power to the facial what's important though is that it starts up on the full 400 
you want to have a powerful ig uh, ignition of the lamp so it won't char. And that's why it's important that sometimes if this contactor goes bad, it will have it, it will never turn up and down, of course, but also you will have a shorter lamp life because it's not igniting as powerfully as it should. So this is very quickly just, just to give you an idea of how these circuits, when you see, particularly in a diagram for these sanding beds, you will see like many ballasts next to one another all connected together in a, in, in a big huddle like this you're looking at most likely a high pressure facial. So uh, please, if you have any questions, comment below and uh, thank you for watching.